Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. We're sort of in a transition time right now. Trout season has begun in our inland waters, but because of all the, the melt-off and the and it just the weather has been such that the rivers are really high. And I don't think the trout fishing in our area is going to be very good until at least a few weeks. However, there there is still some fishing out there. And I was talking to my buddy Mike Bean and he has he's told me for weeks I can't wait to get my boat out. I said, Mike, what are you gonna go after? He said, Crappies. And Mike as much as he's a bass fisherman, he loves to fish crappies. And so I, so I asked him, I said, okay, Mike, now I know every fisherman has his secret places and his special lures that only he wants to use because they're, they're his ticket to be special. But I said, what can we tell people that would help them if they want to get out there and fish for crappies right now and help them be successful? And he says, well, number one, he says the fish are going to be really cold. Well, we know that. But he said when they're cold, he said, I actually find that they tend to fight in a different way. They, they actually t- seem to pull even harder. I said, so tell me, how deep are most of the crappies going to be right now? And he said, well, I would tell people to search in waters 10 to 20 feet deep. That's where most of them are going to be. He said, there's been times that I've caught crappies this time of the year, real shallow. They'll go in for whatever reasons they can be found in shallow water at certain times, but most of the time they're going to be deeper. They won't start coming into the shallows until the water gets much warmer and they can spawn. However, what Mike has done, and this is this is a great tip for people that want to become better fishermen, I guess is the best way to put it, is he keeps a journal. And I some of the best fishermen I've known, that's what they do. They can go back and they can look at the same day a year ago. They can find out where they were fishing, what the wind was, what the water temperature was, and how successful they were and what they were using to be successful. I asked him, I said, Mike, you know, a lot of times people think that fish sort of school by year class. He said, I've found that with crappies more in the fall. But in the spring like this, he said, I'll find them all together. He said, I I can catch little ones and even great big ones all together in some of these areas. So now I said, what should people use? What's a safe thing to recommend? He said, I think a little bitty tube jig on a tube jig head, and he said a lot of times using a bobber can help a lot too. So what you're really doing right now if you're fishing for crappies, first of all, you got to find them because they're not going to be scattered. They're going to be in schools all together. So always look for structure, and remember they're probably going to be deeper. Remember that they're going to be less likely to be moving much. They're cold. They're not going to feed as aggressively, so you've got to fish slowly. And by using a bobber, it's almost like you're fishing that tube jig as you would live bait. Mike loves it. He's promised to take me out soon. And if he does, I'll be able to tell you even more things. Until then, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.